Thanks for joining me again today. I want to go over the VLOOKUP formula. Uh, you'll see here up in the formula bar, I've done it for, for cell C3. And I'm going to show you how I set this up. So you'll notice here what it's doing is it's matching this cell here where it says on-site support and it's matching it from on-site support and getting the rate and then putting that in the cell. So really all I need to do is just drag this formula down and it auto completes everything for us. I'm going to um, retype in this formula and just kind of explain it. Um, this might help just with any formulas. As soon as you type in the equal sign, um, you just start typing in your V lookup, and you can see here is the selector tool, and it'll autofill and give you some instructions. So the first thing that we need to look for is the search key. So this means really anything that we're looking for. Um, in this case, we would type in reactive uh, support in quotes, but I keep this dynamic by clicking on the cell saying B4. And then we just fill in our next part of the formula. That's the range. So here, where is it going to look up this B4? Where is it going to look for that? And we're going to say the range is in task descriptions, all of column A and B. And it should autofill that for you. Now you can just click back to sheet one and type comma to get the next part of the formula, which is the index. So if it's looking in B4 and it's looking at the whole table, which of those should return the value? And this is written in number format. So all this means is column 1 is A, column 2 is B. So return column 2 value. And the next trick is to put the comma and is sorted should be set to false usually. And all that means is, is that index sorted in alphabetical order? And it's not. And we can't rely that it will be. So typically you'll want to use false. And then finish that off with a close bracket. And it should return the value. So here reactive unscheduled support should be 156.25 and it is. So we'll just autofill this down. I'm going to change this to rate and then we can say quantity and now you're kind of seeing that we're making an invoice, right? Um, so I could finish this VLOOKUP formula uh, with total amount, forgive any spelling errors, and I'll say, you know, four. So, oh, I never filled, this one is just a value, so I want to change this to whatever the value is. That looks better. Maybe I had 100 kilometers, and I can go equals this times that. And we can just start filling this out just with the autocomplete. So now, couple this with the last video where we created that drop down menu. You can see here that wherever we have that formula filled in, it will start to populate whatever that rate should be. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps. And stay tuned for my other videos please subscribe and thanks for your helpful comments and questions.